stupid o'clock in the morning on a Sunday. The sun's only just begun to rise and I'm in the Ingram Valley. I'm here with this chap, Nick. I'm not sure. Are you okay with us mentioning your name? I can edit it out. <laughs> he runs a YouTube channel. He does this sort of walking video type things. And we're out here in the Ingram Valley to get some aerial shots of some uh, really, really, really old things on the hills. All right, this is what we're here for. Let's spin round. We're looking for hills like that one there. They've got forts on them. You can see the rings going around the hill. A hill forts like these thousands of years old, so you want some decent aerial shots of them. All right, we'll call this one a close-up. We've just reached our, our first hill fort, and it may not be that much to look at, unless you know the history. But what we've essentially got left is this big round wall. It's on the other side of the hill, it comes back on us. Uh, this one dates back, we think, to Bronze Age. And uh, you have to really be here to get an idea of how big it is. And it's really high up, you can see all around. We'll come back to this one with the, uh, with the drone. So earlier on I showed you uh, that hill over there, uh, that has a series of rings around it, because there was once a fort on top of there. Those rings are part of the defence. And this hill has the same thing. It's just with a different perspective here, of course. There's uh, one level, and there's the platform of another level, and there's another level you can just about see down there. But all around this hill, we've got the same, we've got the, uh, the same defence structure as that one over there, and it gives it that very sort of defining look to it. It's quite nice. This is uh, this is a lot of what I remember of hiking in Northumberland. Just a lot of this. Mostly flat, mostly barren. He's doing his thing. Uh, we're taking a small detour to some, uh, just to some remains of, um, it's not a fort this time, it's a settlement. Um, it's not much to look at on the ground. We'll get some drone footage later on. The next hill fort we're gonna hit is around the back of that hill. Or maybe, ah, uh, maybe more over that way. Scenery's gorgeous. So I haven't planned on any drone footage yet, just only because there's plenty more opportunities and there is only a limited amount of battery in the drone. Um, but there's a few more to go, three or four I think. Uh, I've just hit one here. I'll take a look what's inside. And it's quite big. You can't really get an appreciation of it. On the uh, on the uh, on the 2D video, but I've got the wall that comes right around here and back. It's big. I quite like it. We'll be taking the drone out shortly. Um. So I think the coolest thing about this place is just how old it is and what happened here. Everything that happened here in the in, in the thousands of years of its history. Just, just the simple fact that someone was once here in the Bronze Age, well, thousands of years ago, and they found it necessary enough to build a big structure here. And that so many lives, so many lives were based here and so many things happened. So I think uh, it's just the historic implications alone that impressed me about this place. It's quite cool. And there's so many of them too. We're surrounded by these hill forts. Some of them so old. The uh, <clears throat> this one this one dates back to the Bronze Age, so that's really old in itself. But the uh, the settlement we were at just to the other side of them trees there, it's older still, prehistoric even. <sighs> it's a nice shot of the Chivius. There was a lot more snow on that last week. It's a brilliant view of the hills. Right, we figured that this is the best place to take off because we're on a really high hill. 
and if we leave it until later we're going to be down in the valley so it's not going to be the best place to fly from. I've seen so many hikers in Northumberland. It's only just occurred to us that we landed at a hill fort. We are on top of a hill. But um, not the most impressive one so far. Um, but it's, it's some stunning views. Absolutely stunning. We may have not had an easy time living up here out in the exposed areas of Northumberland, but God, they had some nice views. I'm jealous. Quite a hill forty fort. Just not much remains to look at, that's all. Just the earthworks. Right, here we are, about to take off for another flight. Another hill fort, another flight. Just waiting for the aircraft. Not sure why. Nick's over there doing his thing. 47% battery left, so we've got to make this quick little flight and then uh, and then it's only maybe five minutes back to the car. So once we get back down to the car, I should be able to, yeah, I should have enough battery left to, to fly it to the top of the uh, the top of the first hill that we were on, which is only, it only took us about 15 minutes to hike up there from the car. So it's not that far. Right, we're good to go, so we'll quickly fly out. It's finding a flat bit of ground to launch from. Helps if you're recording. Take it down a bit. I go for a flyby. I don't really want to be in the shot. So I'll bring it around here. Quick pan around. <sighs> this should do. Right, I've uh, I've left Nick down there somewhere, uh, just so that I can quickly hike up here and get closer to our first fort. Our first fort being just at the top of this hill here. I've got 31% battery left, which I didn't really want to have to fly all the way to the first fort. I keep calling it the first fort because uh, it's the first fort we came to and I didn't take the opportunity then to, to launch the drone since I figured we might be able to fly between all the forts during the walk uh, just, just from one takeoff but they're actually quite a distance apart from each other so not too fond of doing that so if Strava shows uh, that I've repeated the first ascent <laughs> just after getting back to the car and that's why just so that I can get some aerial footage of the first one Right, here we go. Gotta make this really quick. Like really quick. Let's try. 
try and get as much altitude as we can before going any further. So here we are, approaching the first hill fort. Right, <laughs> that means it's time to head home. Right, I think that was a successful mission. Good stuff. Job done.